Cryptocurrency and blockchains are supposed to create a new egalitarian future of financial technologies. Unfortunately, this vision often falls short. One current problem is front-running, where an informed insider can act on market-influencing information before other parties. This happens in the analog world in the form of broker fraud and high-frequency trading. With blockchain systems, miners and other network parties learn about transactions before they are finalized into blocks. With full information and an arbitrary order of transactions in a block, miners can game the system. For example, say Alice wants to buy some tokens sold in an exchange run by an Ethereum smart contract. To place her order, Alice must broadcast a transaction to the network. Everyone on the network can see Alice's transaction and miners must see it in order to add it to a block. So, they can choose to insert their own orders ahead of Alice's. Further, other users can try to insert their own transactions ahead of Alice's. They do this by paying a high gas price or transaction fee, as miners typically place higher gas price transactions first in new blocks. This is where submarine sends can help. Submarine sends conceal transactions like Alice's so that network parties and miners can't see and front-run them. A submarine send causes Alice's transaction, to an exchange for instance, to be hidden in a sea of other unrelated transactions that look similar. After some period of time has elapsed, Alice's transaction surfaces. At that point, it's visible to the smart contract Alice is interacting with and can be processed. By then, it's too late for someone else to perform a front-running operation. Submarine sends can prevent front-running in many applications executed by smart contracts. One is decentralized exchanges, smart contract-administered marketplaces that allow users to buy and sell assets. Another is initial coin offerings, where freshly minted tokens can be purchased from smart contracts. Another place where submarine sends can be useful is sealed bid auctions. In any application where transaction order matters and front-running can undermine fairness, Submarine sends can help. Let's look at sealed bid auctions as an example. For a sealed bid auction where bids are anonymous, we need a way to hide bids to a contract. Even if a bid is encrypted and stored in an Ethereum contract, the flow of Ether currency remains public. Transaction amounts must be public so that transactions can be validated and users can only spend money that they have. A submarine send involves four steps. Let's go over them. In the prepare stage, a user like Alice sets up the random looking submarine address with a transaction that sends money from that address to the target contract. Alice doesn't actually have the private key for this address. The address and transaction are crafted so that money sent to that address can only be unlocked by the target contract. As a result, money that Alice sends to the submarine address is committed to the target contract in the sense that Alice can't take it back. To do this, Alice creates a submarine signature, an Ethereum transaction signature where it can be proved that nobody knows the private key. The signature is valid, but it can only be used for a single locked-in transaction. During the second step of the submarine send, the commit, Alice sends her money to the submarine address. Submarine sends allow Alice to hide her commit transaction in a sea of transactions to new addresses providing a security property called K-anonymity. An auction smart contract can be coded so that it only accepts bids during a bidding phase in the form of submarine sends. During this phase, network monitoring parties and miners can't differentiate between commits and simple sends of ether to new addresses. Bids then can't be identified in front run, since once the bid phase is over, nobody can generate new valid bids. Next, Alice sends a transaction to the auction contract to reveal the existence of her commitment, the money in the submarine address. She reveals proof that she created the transaction honestly, and a Merkle proof that the commitment was mined. Naturally, she only reveals this information after the bidding phase is complete. The auction contract now has all of the information it needs to verify that Alice has performed a submarine send. And since bidding has concluded, there is no opportunity for a miner or other party to front run her. After the reveal phase is complete, the unlocked transaction made in the prepare stage can be broadcast, which sends the funds from the committed address to the auction contract. If Alice's bid is the highest, she wins the auction. 
and all other bidders can have their money refunded by the auction contract. So that's an overview of how Submarine Sends work. We have created a Submarine Sends library available on GitHub that implements this technology and is ready for dApp developers to add to their applications. See the description below for more details. Thanks.